Hello, gent and gentuses, and all your other beautiful beings of the world wide web. It is I, Contraption, back with Patrick for more Divinity Original Sin co op. Ahoy! Uh, we're continuing our adventure Jinkies. of sort of stumbling across clues for the murder mystery and. Jinkies! <gasps> Jankies! And a few I other things. I would have gotten away with it too if it hadn't been for you meddling kids and those zombies. Are we considered kids? I thought we were fully grown adults. I, I don't know how old I am. I'm not sure. Why are you trying to sneak? Greetings! These doors are for our Legion troops. Riverlock's finest Legion workers troops. might find out. Oh boy. What? Step aside, step aside! The maniac's gonna turn me into meat pie! Um, Isn't it is... a chicken's destiny to Oh my food? god, they're chasing a chicken. Holy <laughs> <laughs> We should catch it and give it back to the cook. Oh. Isn't it a chicken's destiny to be eaten? We should catch it and give it back to the cook, or a chicken has the right to live too. Oh god, now that I talk to it, uh, that makes it challenging. I don't uh, know. It would have been should... easy if you didn't know what it was saying. Hey, you're the one that suggested I get pet pal perk. Uh huh. Try saying that three times fast. Pet pal perk, pet pal perk, pet pal perk. <laughs> I got two. No, you didn't even finish the second one. You said pork instead of perk. I said perk. So, Although okay. Pet Pal Pork does You sound. know what? Just for fun, I think the chicken has the right to live too. Uh, pardon him? What a silly notion. Such a lovely day calls for a nicely cooked chicken. Or, yes, let's pardon him. Uh, just look at that little, at that little blighter. Lighter. He doesn't deserve the knife. I don't know. I can't even actually see the chicken from here. I can't see the chicken from here either because of the chat window, so. Um... Are the I Legionnaires going to be mad at me if I, like, pardon their chicken? <laughs> I don't know. We're, we're about to find out now, aren't we? Probably. Uh, oh, okay. I, I guess, yeah. Let's... Yes, let's pardon him. Just look at the little blighter. He doesn't deserve the knife. Oh, boy. Compassion! Yiki picky yay Something. You, you are. Why did you let my chicken? There he goes. There goes the chicken. Run away, chicken! <laughs> oh, well, the chicken's out here in the yard. I wonder if I can talk to the chicken now. Oh, maybe. Riverlong's no, he doesn't have a chat bubble on fine appetite serving the seven. Well, we got I can attack the chicken. <laughs> uh, I don't whoa. think I want to do that after I just saved him, though. I'm sure the cook is mad at us now. Let's see. You let my chicken escape. Looks like your lucky day, Jack. Now to tell the troops they're getting nothing but cornbread. Whoops. Well, I mean, so far, you you keep talking to him. Actually, yeah, just um, keep him. Oh damn. <laughs> yeah, he turned around. You can't sneak if he's looking at you. I'll take that. Thank you. I don't know what's in the cupboards, but I'm guessing it's mostly food stuffs. There's uh, a cellar. Yeah, we're in a. There is a cellar over here if you want to try and sneak into there. And a second floor. Let's do that. I don't think this is going to help our murder mystery, though, by saving a chicken. Uh, probably not. There's some spirit over there. So instead of having a talking dog, does it mean we could have a talking chicken? <laughs> we had a talking dog earlier, but it died because I went grave digging and the zombie Good killed job. it. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's Good job. Why are there arrows up here? Those are spears, aren't they? Greetings. No, they're arrows, and there's a shield, too. Ooh, ooh. Bye. Can I can I get Can you those? take the shield? I could use a new oh, shield. I'm going to see if I can grab this plate if I can cut. All right. How much is this plate worth? <laughs> mm. You're you're stealing plates again? Can you not you can, can you stop stealing table settings? Well, they're not gold, so it's disappointing. Uh did you got the shield, I'm guessing? Yeah, I picked up the shield. Ooh. Oh, there's a That's bow a over nice here. Nice shield. I just need one more point of strength for it. I need points of strength. I'm gonna grab these arrows. So we need to go find stuff that'll level us up. Oh, there's some spears over there, like you said. Yeah. Oh, there's a fire staff. There's a fire staff. Oh wow, there is a fire staff. Old. Let me wooden. talk to her then. Ah, da, 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 da. I'm just gonna take all of this then. What do you know about the fabulous five? Blah 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 blah. Uh -huh. The undead plague. She's got nothing interesting to say. Bye. There's a chest over here as well. 
Ah, but it's oh. locked! And I don't have any lockpicks. Oh, she's looking you over your way. Careful. Nah, she's... Alright, let me just see go back here. to s stealing table settings or something. Um, fire staff is only... Yeah, it looks like mage-type item. I got a bow in case I ever learned that, but I need seven dexterity to use it. Um, yeah, you're, that's not happening. Got some swords, a hammer. I don't really need another bow. That one's not as good as the other one. Yeah, that wooden club you gave me, I can't use for. Uh, I need to be two. I need to be level five to make use of it. Yeah, there's like a. If you're not the exact same level as the item, then you get. You, ha you need like extra points of like. <laughs> yeah, action point. Uh, I get an action point deficiency for it. All right. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, there's a couple items here, but I guess unless you can use like spears or something. Mm, I don't think I can use spears. There's a decorated two-handed sword, which is bad. Uh, no, I can only use daggers, swords, axes, and maces. You can use axes. I can use one-handed axes. All right, let me see. Is that? Pretty sure it's two-handed. Yeah, it's two-handed. I got a hammer, but I don't think it does as much as what I gave you. Did you equip the um? Uh, like, I sent you some other gear as well. I don't know yeah, I equipped the, uh, I equipped the bracers, and I was able to equip the boots. Oh, uh, there's pigs in a cage in the cellar. Oh, I God. Talk to them. There we go. Don't make Glisionaires extra mad at us. <laughs> Give me muck. Tra la 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 la. And I am in luck. Fa la 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 la. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Mr. Pig. <laughs> Alrighty then. He's a very excitable pig. Considering his brothers are like pinned up on the wall. Yeah, there's all this mutton everywhere. Oink! You know how you people say you're good provider when you bring home the bacon? Yeah, you should knock that off. <laughs> uh, weakening arrows. Found some weakening arrows. Oi! I'm writing a story called The Pearl and the Swine. That'll help some old prejudices out of this world. Goodbye! So apparently pigs in this world are like jokesters and philosophers. Or something, yeah. They're they're the they're the ones that get those uh liberal arts degrees in college that have no use in the outside world. <laughs> oh. I wonder what that chicken got. Oh the oh. chicken got a reprieve. Is there anything? There's a bale of hay over there. Do you think maybe there might be another passage? Might be a needle in it. Ha! See, okay, bail of hand. There's wheat! Good job, you found wheat in a bale of hay. Yep. And then there's some baskets. But it doesn't look like there's anything of value. Or any passages. Or such nonsense. For some reason, the pigs get cheese. I'm not sure why they get cheese. But they get cheese. There's apparently a secret near the beginning where we started that we missed. I believe so. Yes, because I got treasure either that or Either that or it's all around the back up on the hills that we have to get to work up. Might you find I think that's probably what seven. it is. Okay. Possibly. Oh, for those of you who don't know, I did, yeah, I um, I went to the painter oh, in, at the end of the last episode and I got a whole bunch of treasure maps from him. So now we have a bunch of treasure maps like revealed. Why a painter has treasure maps, I'll never know. But... I don't know, but apparently there's like a whole bunch of myths in regards to the treasure maps, and they're like, it, this has been revealed? What? Oh my goodness, the treasure of Carmen San Diego? Oh! Is basically the description for most of the treasures. So, do we want to head to the inn and <laughs> see what that uh, possible buttstabber wants? Yes, where is the inn? Uh, the Lion's Pride Inn, I think it was called. Something yes. like that. I believe it's near the market. Um, I think I'm next to it now. Except I'm, I'm coming, I'm coming! Need to go around, because apparently I went to the wrong end. Of I'm the ready. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Is there a way down from here? Yes, there is. <coughs> okay. Yeah, it's uh right next to that store that we broke into? No, okay, I'm lost. 
This looks like the Legionnaire's place. I don't know if this is necessarily an inn. Uh, that might be Legionnaire's place. Nope, this is the town hall. Oh. We haven't been here. No. Here, kitty kitty kitty. Golly gosh, one who flaunts the highways and byways of silly old, silly old seal with the easy elegance of a puss with her tail in the air. I do declare, such a sight is rather rare around here. Oh, you're a rhymer. Good job. <laughs> the amount of disdain. The cat's name is Maxine. And one, but where are my manners? I'm Maxine, and you must be one of those hunters one hears so much about. Sharp, I'm sure. And I can even ask her a couple of questions. <laughs> yes. Tell me a bit about yourself. I'm the mayor's cat, don't you know? Born and raised on velvets and viands. I've never heard that word before. Viands of Venison? most exquis exquisite varieties. V I A N D S. Maxine rhymes with queen, after all, and dearest, that is hardly a coincidence. Don't you fear the undead? Heaven forbid, no. Fear is rather too strong a term here, hunter dearest. The predator's instinct is a trait we share, you and I, and though those rancid ramblers may not be quite as easy to Are you stealing stuff while I'm talking? <laughs> yeah. Dude! Nothing. <laughs> I can't even have a conversation with a cat. No, it's a go for it. Without you stealing something. Go for it. I got a ring. Don't <laughs> worry about it. <laughs> God. It's all good. Don't worry. But about you'll it. never hear that phrase ever spoken again in, in your life. What? I can't even have a conversation with a cat without you stealing something from the town hall. No, no, you can't. Because you know that that's just like normal behavior for us, apparently. Uh, well, here, yeah, the door's locked. I can't go in there. Um, let me see. Click. There we go. I'm sending you a ring. A rake? A You're ring. Sending me a... Oh, a ring. Oh, okay. Yes. A corroded <coughs> copper ring. Oh, wow. That's uh, classy. Well, you know, it gives you an extra action point, I think. As far as I know. No, it requires an action point to equip. So if I want to equip it in battle... What? Yeah, fun with fluids, volume four. Alright, um... Should we talk to the mayor? I think I got most of his valuables. <laughs> you might want to. Well, hello uh, since you've stolen all his stuff, I figured you would know so much about him by now. I know he likes paintings and expensive goblets. <laughs> he's the town mayor. Of course he's going to have all the expensive stuff. What's wrong um... with you? What? Oh, it's you! Come closer, then closer. My ears aren't what they used to be. Nor my eyes, for that matter. Yes, hello, Source Hunter. Our city welcomes you. And let me see. Tell me about yourself. Tell me about the issues in Cecil. Can you tell me more about your library? Ooh! Do you have a library book? The it's something upstairs. Of death? I'm, I'm, looking for, I'm looking through all the books right now to um, see if we have that, that book. I'm, I met your pet, Maxine. Maxine, what in heaven's name are you? Oh, you mean the mongrel that's always skulking about the, about the place. I spent months trying to teach that worthless hound how to fetch, and it sat through every lesson looking at me like I were the idiot. I hate Men to tell to you, dude, but eye. that's not a dog, that's a cat. Yeah, I don't know. Um, uh, okay. I've always been more fond of cats myself. What? Oh my gosh. Does he have two animals both called Maxine? <laughs> I don't know. Um, tell me about yourself. My elf? What elf? <laughs> oh, myself! I'm... Okay, I feel like I need an older voice for this guy. I am Cecil's mayor. I'm Cecil, mayor of Cecil, and husband <laughs> of the stately <laughs> you, you, Cecilia. You good night. I've been the mayor here for decades, and I'm quite eager to see this see Cecil through these difficult times. Yes, very difficult indeed. Uh, tell me about your library. That depends what kind of berries are you interested in exactly. Oh, you got jokes. Oh, the library! Yes, yes, you must have a, a visit. It's the gem of Cecil. Uh, would you like to have a, a look? I'll escort you upstairs myself. Sure. It is a very nice looking Sounds library. interesting. Marvelous, follow me Until then. we meet again. All right, take me to your library. Take, take me to your leader. 
I was about to say that. Although not in a Mexican voice. Why does it have to be Mexican? Why can't it be just a generic Hispanic voice? I... <laughs> Sneaking up the stairs, really? Yep. Uh, first edition, too. Most promising. Oh, yes. The library is the jewel of Cecile's crown. The beacon of culture and learning in our fair city. My Victoria has every volume you could possibly imagine, and she's got every speck of information about this place packed into her brilliant brain. Yes, Victoria's come a long way from the little bundle of claws and teeth I adopted so long ago. It brings a tear to my eye just seeing her here among my beloved books. What? Oh, yes, yes. I'll be on my way back downstairs now. Please, please introduce yourself. I know Victoria will be happy to make your acquaintance. I guess she, he means the orc over here. Yeah, apparently, and there's a major too. for dumbbells. Ah, I need something more advanced. Mm, the Sorry, I didn't the use your withered old man voice that you were initially using. But hello there. That's, that's okay. Wow, she is. No, she has a very nice voice and other features. <laughs> um, in name of Amun Or, I bid thee, Toz Jagata Al. Be welcome, human. My library is yours, as I hope your friendship is mine. Uh, who are you, madam? I am Victoria, daughter of Mayor Cecil. Huh. Oh, I know what you're thinking. The likeliness isn't exactly striking, is it? Um, when I was very young, you see, I must have been cast out by a tribe, for I was found in a wicked ba wicker basket, floating past Cecile toward the sea. The fishermen who found me would have drowned me on the spot, for I am an orc after all. But praise be Amun or dear Cecile. Cecil was among the gathered crowd and took pity on the exiled infant that um, that chance had put in his way. He raised me like I was his own. His kind, the, this kind of, of souls taught me the language of men, the customs and their letters. Thus I became the city's librarian, a position I uphold with no small diligence and pride. Huh. Okay. Uh, can I look at your books? Indeed you may. The, uh, the wisdom I here hoard is, uh, is yours to pursue and even, t uh, and even take with you. All I can ask is that you turn the book you borrow so that others may enjoy them too. Until we meet again. And who is this mage that's looking for genealogy? M1's Uten Mali Damonos Kun? What? What is this? Who are you, uh, who are you to interrupt my musings? By Naga the Protector, they have the manners of boors, these boatmen of Cecil. Oh, but perhaps I spoke too soon. Perhaps I was mistaken, for you hardly resemble the local fisherfolk, which incidentally is a compliment of copious dimensions indeed. No, a source hunter, that is what you are. Yes, a stalker of sorcery, a chaser of charms, pernicious. In truth, I cannot go so far as to say it is a pleasure to make your acquaintance, for I take no pleasure in the company of men. But it may just be uh, our mutual advantage to join forces nonetheless. Why would you want to join forces? Why, simply because you hunt source... Source and I, Jahan, hunt demons. You are aware, of course, that often both of these pests frequent the same shadowy pools of infamy. Now, I hate what I hunt, but I respect its cunning. Should I not, I'd have been decimated body and soul long since. This is a sentiment I've quite, I'm quite certain you must recognize. Let the ear be a strength in cunning, yes, but also in numbers. The calculus of wizardry I offer you, the might of magicians must pew, 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 pew. Age, pew, pew. Oh my goodness. On one condition, that on our joint travels we will never deal with demonic entities. No matter how tempting their propositions, give me your word on this and I will weave you spells. I can work with that. Uh, well... Uh, oh, 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 so you want to make deals with demons now? Really? It's not a guarantee, but they tend to have intriguing quest options. I don't know if I like where you're going here, because you want this guy to join our team, but you can't agree. I mean, he's like, okay, so I can say, very well, there will be no deals of demons, or I don't like to make promises I may not be able to keep, so I must decline your offer. Furthermore, if I accept him, do we have a three-man party, or do you I, take control of him? I don't know how that works. I suppose if push comes to shove, I can always murder him. 
but he's a... <laughs> Great! But I mean, okay. I, lo I, I love how your problem-solving <laughs> skills there. Murder your teammates so that you can make deals with demons. <laughs> well, I mean, okay, so here's the other thing. If it is kind of like a swap-out group thing, then we can just not bring him with us. Well, how about we, um... Can you save, or do we have to exit the conversation? Um, I think, yeah, I can save. I'll make a new one. Especially for this, uh, new save. Contraption 2. So original. I know, right? You learn when you play RPG games. That's always good to have. Like, really? One or two. No. Anyways, uh, okay, I'll take you up on it. Oh, Agreed. Not Nothing good ever came from bargaining with those devils anyway. You can split your party by dragging your character's top left portrait away from one another to break the chain that connects them. You can regroup your party by dragging those portals, portraits together again. Ah. Most gratifying. I see you are firm of purpose and thereby ready to descend... Um, to descend. Descend into the madness that is sorcery, into the depths that uh, where demons dance. Gladly shall I follow you into the abyss. Onward, blood and triumph await. So... Oh, can, we, can we look at his character sheet? Oh, we can switch... I can switch characters between them. Ah, cool. So now I control... Oh, no. Let's see. How do I control you? Or can you only control him? I can... drag him... so that he's connected to you? No, I, or not. I don't know. I'm trying to like connect him. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know either. Well, he's connected to you. I can't connect him to you for some reason. I guess. That so just apparently, means... my girlish figure doesn't do anything for him. Um. Okay. The. Why do you hunt demons? I have some questions for you. But I'm so divine and dainty. Why wouldn't he like me? So I can't ask him to just leave the party f for the time being if I want well, to. I but guess we can just walk about with him and see how it goes. So. Sure. Is he going to have an issue of me stealing things? I wonder. Uh, we're we're going to find out now, won't we? Probably. Uh, where are you from? I am not from any place anymore. I go where my quest leads me. Besides, the name would mean nothing to you. The glorious city in the glorious kingdom where I was born. I remember them well. The sandstone castle hewn like very sun. The battlements, um, batters. Their battlements without rest. I can see them still. The fountain gardens. The hall of pearl colored marble inlaid of gemstones. Yada, yada, yada. Yes, I okay, can see them still. Okay, how am I sneaking around as a bush in the library? How does this work? Um, I don't know. Apparently your sneaking options are bush, rock, or barrel. Yeah, but I'm in a library. How? Look at this. Maybe you're a tumbleweed. I don't know. Um, so <laughs> the thousand... Okay. You spin me right round. Hmm. Okay, he's listing off a whole bunch of reasons as to why he hunts demons. Yada, Many yada. hours pass before Jahan stops enumerating his reasons. You are very <laughs> sorry indeed that you even asked. Let's change the subject. Well, it could uh, be worse. We could be talking to our he. Alright, so... I don't know if he follows me if he's not connected to me. Well, you probably should connect him to you. Unless, can you connect him to you? I... How are you connecting him? I just grab and drag his portrait. A pirate's well, life. Right. Uh, Fun of Fluids Volume 4. Oh my goodness. Where is the book I'm looking for? I got a whole bunch of Fun of Fluids and some other things, but not the one thing. Well, maybe I'm you should go for. have fun with fluids. No, Bukake is not always the answer. Huh? I have background noise going on here. I said fun with fluids, and I hear the background. Somebody says, Bukake! 
Well, yeah. Anyways. Okay, there's a there's something in this desk that I want to grab, but I want to wait until. So you'll need to you'll need to link Esmeralda. Jahan to you again. Apparently, okay, I will. But um, Esmeralda apparently um took a book of sorcery and has not. Oh yeah, that's it. right. And I believe oh, she was the one that was with um, what's with Jake. Scene with Jake. Yeah, and es Esmeralda is Jake's wife, well, and I think there. she may have killed him. Until we meet Possibly, again. although he might not actually be dead. We're not positive about that just yet. This is uh, okay. Breaking into there is not legal. Okay, I needed lockpicks. I needed lockpicks. Why do I? There's a quest icon here. What is it? Town hall. Or not? Is it just telling me what that building is? Yeah. In the mood for cheese. Yes, that's what the diamond means. It's a major location. It's an important location, mate. All right. Um. So. Uh, just so long as the dude's not around when we're dealing with demons, he should be valuable. Okay. Uh. So we want to go to the inn next. I'm guessing. I think that is a very good plan. Just like to say that I have way too many books, and that at some point I'll have to like do an edit and just like read through all of them. All right, there we go. Until we meet again. So, uh, the inn is just up uh, here. Is it with the guild people? Come, come to me. Come to me, my great leader. Okay, who... Great leader. Oh, it's yeah. Kim Jung Warren. Warren Jung Il. What? Great leader, North Korea. Have you no know, idea of world I politics? I know, I know. I'm just... Uh -huh. I don't know why sure you're you calling don't. me that. I can't remember which guy it was I was talking to. The cat's name is Unsinkable Sam. Unsinkable Sam. Jung can I door to the crime scene? Oh, it's over there. La 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 la. I spoke for him. Let me in Cyprus. Not exactly the friendliest bloke. The captain is he? Well, your reward for getting your ear chewed off is a waltz through the town's finest magical murder scene. Enjoy. Oh, I guess we never did actually like look at the murder oh, scene. Goodness. Nope. But where Please is this dude? Do keep shouting in my ear. So apparently, Unsinkable Sam was on a shipwreck. It was the it was the lone survivor of the shipwreck. Oh, fantastic! And he has eyes for Maxine. <laughs> oh, the cat! Oh, wait, wait, wait! What are we, why is the journal updating? Apparently, talking to Sam says she likes me. I know she does, but when I declare my love, she backs away. I don't know why. I've serenaded her, braved many a bucket of water for my efforts, but for some reason, she's not swayed. So apparently, he wants us to assist him with wooing Maxine. Right. Oh, the funs with Peppa. Okay, so I'm talking to Madora, and she just threatened to slice me open. Oh, ho, ho, mo. Madora, you jumpy lummox. Naval to beak, she says. Oh, a thousand pardons, comrade. Uh, when you've been bashing skulls as long as this old bear, it's easy to mistake every nudge and jostle for a deadly grasp of a source cyclops. Now, <clears throat> how about a proper introduction? But let's um, keep our voices down, shall we? One never can tell when the enemy has lain its eyes and ears. What do you mean by the enemy? Hell spells, comrade. Keep your voice down. Do you want every Thaddeus, Rich, and Herald to know our private business? Any one of these shifty-eyed drunkards could be a source spy. Does she, does she have something against source hunters? Now then, uh -oh. I'll explain like you. Uh, I'm here to sniff out the and annihilate the source threat. A source hunter in spirit, indeed, if no longer by title. Merida's the name. My hand to your cause and my sword to your side. The order retired this little old lady to a sleepy town uh, a bit north of here, but 
No rocking chair would keep a born and bred source hunter from such a f uh, fragrant infestation of dark magic. The counselor's murder? Mm, um, Madora, for one, won't rest until the fiend is caught. On this uh, subject, I could use someone to cover my back when this. Whoa. Uh oh, what's what, going on? What are you doing? What did you do? I didn't do anything. What are you doing? I'm just over by the stairs. Okay. I haven't even gone upstairs yet. Uh, with the source demon lurking under every loose floorboard in the city, it goes without saying that you could use another stout heart and experienced sword by your side. So, would you, uh, so you'd like to join the party. And what evidence have you found thus far about the murder? Evidence? Look around you, comrade. It's fairly se uh, seeps. From every crevice in town, there, there's Mayor Cecil, Thalerion, and the feline menace to name a few of many hundreds okay so you were talking about the mage yes uh, do you know the big whiskered fiend can see clear as day in the blackest night dog dwelling schemes all okay a uh, more devious source wolf in sheep's clothes. I've never had the misfortune to meet the black guard deaf as a brick, but it's nothing to do with his age, and he'd like all of Cecil to believe. No, I'm certain Cecil lost his hearing in a botched deal with the censure of the South. Many elderly folk fall victim to her wiles. She collects their faculties, eyesight's hearing, sense of smell, or memory, and turns and in turn grants them some few more years of life. Huh. Why, well, my own mother woke blind as a mole one day and tried to blame the whole affair on cataracts. She even got a local healer through bribery to coerce, no doubt, to vouch for her little tale. And who is Feldrun? The town healer! And a warlock. I learned of his black craft a uh, hard way, you would see. And yet unfamiliar with his devious, de devious ways, I mistakenly made eye contact with the fiend over a selection of trout in the marketplace. He gave a little wink, innocent to the untrained eye, and his curse immediately came over me. My palms began to sweat like they'd been held by a hellfire, and my heart raced till I feared it might combust. A fog heavy with his dark enchantments oh fell God. over my mind, How and my much cheeks scorched. Do you have? <laughs> The the villain had set a source delirium upon me. Uh, Damn, woman, you have some lungs. I know, my goodness. Fortunately, I was able to maintain the presence of mind to look upon away before his curse could consume me completely. I can I recovered quickly, but the next innocent he ensnares may not be so fortunate. So you'd like to join the party? Well, you know the old expression: two's a tea party, three's an invasion. <laughs> With our keen training combined, we'll be able to face any of the my myriad of monstrosities what, uh, that are bound to confront us. What do you say? I can say, a fantastic plan! Together we'll annihilate every speck of source from this uh, captive city. Or, thanks for the offer, but it's hard to resist the impression that your mm, enthusiasm might get in the way of actually hunting source. One can be vigilant without seeing evil in every nook and cranny. She is a little paranoid. I but... don't doubt that. She's also a little bit entertaining. The question also is, can we have four people in the party at once? I would assume so, because if you look at the layout right above your, uh, your portrait, there's a little button that allows you to change how the group is situated when it comes to combat and movement. Oh. So there's four dots there. I'm assuming we can max out at four people. Alright, I'll see which, what it's like with a fourth person. It'll definitely make us less dead. I hope. That's the spirit! Listen closely now, do you hear it? That's the sound of every source in a hundred miles radius shaking in their wee boots. Alright, so now they're all chained to me. Can I not chain people to you? Apparently not. Apparently I can't make people follow you for some reason. So how do I want to change the layout here? What? Kind of. Okay. Let's try that. No, wait. I want to be that guy. Sure. Okay. Anyways. Um. 
Yar. Where's that elf I need to talk to? Social interaction. You you will find the most prefer uh, you, that most prefer talking to the main hero, uh, though they're willing to trade with companions too. Okay. What are you, some kind of wandering butler? They can t you can tell your boss I have no dealings with a go between. Farewell. Oh, I'm oh so, whoops, I'm not. I was I selected a different character. Well, hello there. Duke of Pharrell apparently did not want to talk to Madora. Oh, hello, I suppose. You're here to viciously interrogate me for the information I don't have, like our new captain of Aureus before you. Uh, tell me about yourself. I am the Duke of Pharrell, or Pharrell, though I suppose my name is a mouthful for enough ruthless gossipers that you've heard me uh, of me by now. What do you know about the murder? It's a very tragic news. I won't uh, posture and say that the counselor and I were anything near allies, but I truly never wished a man harm. Until we meet That's again. That's all he has to say. <laughs> Not right. very useful, is he? Uh, the waitress. So you're the waitress around here. Been the King's Crab nearly ten years now, personally. Seen every uh, character you can imagine, from bums to wizards, pass through these doors and pin and place the rest. Do you know anything about the murder? I think one of the last folks to hear him alive, um, that awful scream, has been ringing in my ears since ever since. And this, and with the room where it all happened still under quarantine, there's constant reminder of everything that happened. I've thought that's the question. Though that's the question, isn't it? What exactly did happen? We all thought it was Esmeralda who checked into the room and the Duke that followed her in. I was washing up and nudging the last of the lush lushes out the door when um, a cloaked woman rushed in right past me. I never got a good look at her. Damn my eyes. But I figured the way she disappeared that she were visiting one of the lodgers. Luckily for the uh, uh, perpetrators, I was rinsing bottles, bottles in the back when the terrible deed took place and saw nothing more. I ain't proud to say I ducked under the counter and damn well stayed there till I heard Yvad fl um, fling the door open, but <coughs> I was paralyzed with fright. Oh no. So Esmeralda has been getting books of sorcery, she has a bloody dagger, there's no body in the grave, and we have yet to meet this white-haired woman that he supposedly spent time with, and we have to help Uncle Sam woo Maxine. Do we have any clues as to how to woo her, or do well, we just talk to her? Well, let's see here. Kitty Love. Maybe I have to go talk to Maxine again and see if I can't find ways to uh, team them together. Probably. Well, hello there. Who is Anna? And what have we here? A source hunter, is it? Well, my day just became rather more stimulated. Stand still, then, if you don't mind. I want to take a good look um, at the so-called Savior of Seville. Tall as an elf, strong as an orc, but your face, quite classical, isn't it? Uh, statuesque, some might say. Yes, smooth and sturdy, a marble yet fine as chiseled edge. And my word, what passion burns from your eyes. Forgive my, my being forward, but I, I dare say, can it be you're, you're exactly the person I've been searching for? Okay, let me see here. I'm going to say you are the town strumpet. <laughs> Can you tell me more about yourself? Uh, you've been searching for someone? Oh, she's part of the Fabulous Five, apparently. That I have, for nearly a lifetime it seems. I'm sure you must know what I mean, like existence itself lacked a significant component, like if you could only fill a certain void, could con connect with the right body, that right spirit, together you could uncover a new thrilling vista. I believe I have found the component that body, that spirit within you, Source Hunter, come. If ever we are to be united, we must truly intertwine our fates. We must link our causes forevermore. Yes, you must join the Fabulous Five right away. As soon as time permits, together as a team, we'll explore the boundless realm before us. We'll uncover fate inch by inch. Right, I'm already part of Fabulous Five. So you joined up. You sworn to share in our adversities and our bounty alike. Ah, you've made the so I can finally offer you our finest adventuring equipment at fantastic uh, fantastic in our house rates come now let's trade 
Oh, da 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 da, you must feel to be part of the team. It's a valor and a skill, you must uh, cure it for yourself. King Tzu to place, blah 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 blah, Felix must face, yada yada yada, I have everything you need. Does, do, do the people of Cecile just inherently get born with the lungs the size of Odin? I don't know. Gee, I, look, I know it's an RPG, and I know there's good story here, but holy Jesus. I'm gonna ask you, don't you want adventures hand in hand like you said? Ah, darling, that was so long ago now. <laughs> I know, because you talk for like seven years. Who can remember who said what after all this time? What matters is that here and now, in the moment, I promise to give you the best deals and adventure equipment you'll ever find in Cecile. Alright, do you have lockpicks? That's all I'm interested in. You don't have lockpicks. You have a chicken's foot, though. Also, I... Oh, by the way, what was that shield you got? How good was it? What are the stats on it? Uh, let's see here. Shield, shield, shield. We're, oh, I gotta exit out of the conversation here, because I was listening. Uh, the shield, uh, uh, the current one I have is blocking 2%. This one is blocking 10%, and is I item level 7. However, it requires a strength of 8. So you can't use it yet. I need one more point of strength. I could buy you a lucky outdated buckler, block percentage 8, lucky charm plus 1. Uh, okay. Alright, put that in the pot. And there's some healing potions. Are you, well, how are you for potions, actually? Uh, let's see. I have an intelligence potion, I have a poison antidote potion, and I have two minor healing potions. Alright, I'll buy some potions as well. And then I'll sell some extra shit. I don't need... Why are you selling her shit? That's what you have a, a, a bucket for, so you can, you know, poop <laughs> in that. For a second there, I was wondering where you were going with that, and then I just tuned out. <laughs> I see how it is. You want me to join you on this adventure and add some life to things, but no, as soon as I mention the word poop, you black out. I, yes, I just black out. I just Do you faint. have some bad memories about poop at some point in your life? Do we need to talk about this before we move on? Uh, do I need to get my notepad out and no. talk about your mother or something? No, it's not necessary. Alright, uh, and then we'll just kind of... yeah? Yeah? Oh, how's it Yar. going? An acceptable offer. Good. I'm glad. I'm gonna stop talking Until we meet again. And I'm going to send you some potions. Oh, boy! More. That, that's not sending me a potion. No, no it's not. Ah, I didn't mean to send you all of them. Can you send some of those back? How many do you need? Just send me, like, maybe five. Okay, uh, how do I break the stack? Right clicking is not what you want to do. No, it apparently not. I'm gonna put some more spells into my backpack. Oh, I forgot. I can hold alt and highlight all of the objects in the room. Okay. Game, how do I break a stack? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Screw it, I'll just send them all to you. Jeez. How about, let's do this. Okay, let's see. Options. Controls. Oh my goodness. Uh... Hold and drag to split stack. So you hold shift and then drag to split a stack. Okay. Let's do that. And then I'll send you six. And then we should be all dandy. Look at there! We did it! We did it! Okay. We did it! I don't think your smelly panties are going to help you with this one. Well, you know that one extra charm. <laughs> what are you going to do? Charm the doors open? I can do that. Just charm the guards. It's the fair of the That's just creepy. Uh, all I'm right. getting this butt stabber vibe from you. Hey, hey. Mr. Security Guard over here is watching everything you do. No. You can call me Elizabeth. What can I do for you? There's a girl who needs to be found. Maybe you've seen her. This girl's dead. You know her. You'll see dozens of her tied down by the docks with the slums in Apollo Square. Orphans. The Fontaine's chair is shut. No place for them. But her, you know. As I said, the girl's dead. Lost. Look, I don't know where you get Lost isn't dead. 
Name your riddle will pay you for this work. <laughs> 